I know I'm late on this. Uh, this is I'm on. Uh, I'm talking about Canelo Alvarez versus Kovalev after the ticket sales and how many people, uh, how many, how many seats were sold and comped and all that stuff. And but I'm on Jake uh, uh, Donovan um, Twitter page. Um, you know, one thing is uh, it says live gate receipts for Canelo Kovalev per Nevada State Athletic Commission gate. It's eight million. It's eight point one million, right? Whatever you know, what I'm saying so. It sold eight million, and it sold ten thousand tickets. Barely sold over ten thousand tickets, and it. I think they gave away like one thousand six hundred forty-three tickets, um, which is uh, you know. Am I surprised about that? Mm, not really. It says announced. Announced crowd was fourteen thousand four hundred ninety uh, ninety uh, thousand uh, tickets. Uh, I mean, uh, people was there. Which you see, uh, this number can't be right because these numbers right here is not adding up, right? One ten thousand and one thousand seats. So that's like eleven thousand. Yeah, that's eleven thousand, right? You know, what I'm saying. And um, the thing about it is, with this is, I don't know Oscar De La Hoya, uh, Golden Boy said this number and stuff like that. But you know they doing. They, they, I mean, Oscar De La Hoya is, is a promoter. They lie. They liars. Bob Aaron is a liar. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ad Hearns is a liar. Floyd Mayweather is a liar. He's a promoter. I mean, they they, they if, it's, if if something is not right, they trying to make it right. They they will lie. You know what I'm saying? To make themselves look good and make them make their uh, fighters or whoever in their camp look good. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to go uh, and get the information and, and, and get the true information for somewhere. But but the thing about it is uh, Donovan is is a writer. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't think he's a, 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 a Canelo hater or whatever. He don't uh, he dislike Canelo ever. That's if... That's if Canelo, uh, that's if Canelo Alvarez and him uh, uh, cross paths and 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 Canelo Alvarez beat him up or he stole his girl or something like that or had sex with his girl, which I I doubt that. So, um, you know, one thing is, uh, you know, they were saying that um, Canelo Alvarez is the face of boxing, but the face of boxing should have numbers like this. But you know what? Let me say, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Possibly he still could be the face of boxing. He still could be the face of boxing. But when you're on the zone out, your star power will will, uh, will go down. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I and this could be due this this could is this could be due to Canelo Alvarez opponents past their prime, 37, 36, 36 to 37 years old. It depends on who he fight, right? Uh, uh, Daniel Jacobs did better than this, right? You know what I'm saying? It's always a a Mexican fighter or a black a black American fighter or whatever uh, always does good numbers. I would definitely say that. it depends on the opponents, right? It depends on the two fighters, right? Uh, especially when it comes to pay per view, right? Um, but 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 D Daniel Jacobs and uh, Kendall Alvarez wasn't on pay per view. It was on the zone. But the thing about it is Kovalev uh, didn't do that great because uh, it was at the uh, it was in the Garden. Uh, New York City, it holds 16,000 people, right? And they only sold 10,000 uh, seats. That's terrible. They were 6,000 off. Even though you, with this number, they gave away. They gave this away. So don't, we don't have to, I'm not even going to calculate this number because they gave it away, right? You know, so I'm not, they, they didn't buy it. They, they didn't buy these seats. It was, it was, these tickets was given to them, right? Or they might have won it from somewhere, but they didn't have to pay. So I don't count this number, 1,006, uh, 1,600, 1, uh, you know what I'm saying, seats. I'm not counting that. I'm counting this. And we can't say nothing about this because these numbers right here don't add up to this. It doesn't add up. That's 6,000 seats was uh, was not, uh, uh, was, uh, was, or I'll put it like this. Let's say 5,000. Let's say five thousand, because you know sometimes or oh, five thousand something seats. I'm not gonna say it's always gonna be a, every time a fighter uh, don't. It's not gonna always sell out. But even five thousand was not seats was available. That's terrible. 
Five thousand six was terrible, and then this is this is supposed to be the face of boxing. He's the cash cow now. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna. I'm not. It, that's not a understatement. That's a fact. Canelo K- K- Alvarez is still the cash cow. He's getting more money than anybody. Thirty five million per fight. You know one thing is, if Canelo Alvarez was fighting on pay per view, he get. I think he probably get more than thirty five thousand because he don't get no back end money with with the zone. Because they got to make their money up too. Because you know they gave uh um who's that. Kovalev got $12 million. You know what I'm saying? And they gave uh, Canelo Alvarez, uh, Kovalev got $12 million, and Canelo Alvarez got $35 million. So that's what that was. For, what's that? That's $47, that's $47 million they dished out? And how much they make off the fight? Uh, the, uh, the the zone. They didn't, make, they, they didn't make a profit. I don't think they made a profit. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You know, um, and another thing too. At the same time, I would definitely say that um, uh, the zone did not market him, market his fight really well. But you gotta understand, the zone, the, the zone is is a streaming app, like ESPN app. But ESPN got a channel. They on TV. This is a streaming app. They don't got no. You know what I'm saying? They ESPN is a big network with an app. Fox is. I think got an app too, but they a big network. Fox, I'm gonna definitely say this. Fox and Showtime, Fox and Showtime will definitely will advertise you, will market you. When you when you with the PBC or, or Mayweather, they mark you. Or Mayweather Promotions, they mark you right. I'm not gonna lie about that. Javante Davis, he's not a top ten uh 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 on the pound pound list because I took him off and they market him right. He's on. He's in Atlanta. And those seats are selling. Now, is it going to be sold out? I don't know. What fight do sell out that much at the same time? You know what I'm saying? But it, it, I think it's going to be close to be selling out. They always go. They always going to comp seats and stuff like that. They always going to give away seats and stuff like that. But five thousand seats, it might. But we we got to see. Or well, Javante Davis versus Yuka's Gamboa. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing with with uh, Canelo Alvarez. Like I say, I mean now Canelo Alvarez is did his star power uh, went down. I would say to a certain degree, but he's still getting his money. He, he he's not he don't care. I don't think he too much care about that. As long as he get money, he's getting money. Oscar Lowe is getting money. You know what I'm saying? And how much do is he getting thirty five million? How much is is he really getting off that thirty five million? If Oscar Lowe and everybody else is taking that from that thirty five million dollars, you see what I'm saying? If I'm Canelo Alvarez, if he was with Pepe, but he'd get more because he'd get the back end money. You know what I'm saying? If Devin Henney is with is with the zone. Uh Demetrius Andrade's with the zone, whatever. And Danny Jacobs with the zone. If I was I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna keep it real. I wouldn't fight on the zone if I was a boxer. Maybe if I'm starting out. At the end of my career, no. Like Devin Haney, as I as I'm thinking about it right now, if I was Devin Haney, okay, fight on it right now because you're twenty years old. You still got more you got what, fifteen more years left in you, sixteen more years, seventeen more years left with De- Debbie Haney, right? If you want to fight at thirty seven years old, because he's only twenty years old. I would say at least at 15, 15 more years, right? Put it like this, I'm gonna say this. De- starting out, Devin Haney, you cool right now. But when you turn 25, 26, 26 years old, you wanna be on pay per view. Everybody say pay per view is dead, it's going it's going it's gonna go away. No, it's not going away. It's not gonna go away. Cause you need you need the people who's gonna market you, and I'm surprised that uh, Devin Henning didn't go to with the PBC, whatever. Maybe uh, Eddie Hearn said some stuff and they made a little bit more sense, whatever. But he's not getting he's not getting he he's not gonna get that money. Um, uh, when he get older, the money that that really uh, jingles and stuff like that, want to be in Floyd Mayweather's uh, shoes, he ain't gonna get that money being with his own because he's not gonna get no back end money. He's just gonna get straight for he's gonna get straight up money. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I, he 365 million for 10, 11 fights. Devin Henney's got to work his way up there to get that. But at the same time, staying with them, um, Phil Mayweather made more than that all through his years because he was on, he's with the PBC and well, he had his own promotional company. Of course, Devin Henney got his own promotional company. But at the same time, if you stick with them, you're not gonna get no back end money. You you get your money, you get real, you get that real money when you, when you get that back end money, not the the upfront money. The money's in the contract, but the back end money—that's the—that's where the real money is at. 
Kenneth Average don't give a fuck. As long as he get twenty some million dollars, he cool. I guess. I, I mean, I guess he he's okay where he's at. But he as in being 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 in four minutes of blueprint or trying to capitalize on four minutes four Mayweather's blueprint, whatever, or being like four Mayweather. He's not four Mayweather as a fighter. Skill wise, he's not that. Making money as as uh, for Mayweather? No, I don't think he's I don't think he's in that situation either. Close, but not not there. For Mayweather, for Mayweather made three hundred million dollars in one fight. Of course, he got that sixty five million, but for Mayweather made more than that all through when he fought uh, Manny Pacquiao, uh, Conor McGregor. You know what I'm saying? And he been on pay per view a couple of times with Oscar De La Hoya and uh, Shane Mosley and all that. He made back end money. The dude's probably worth five to six hundred million dollars. I'm thinking, I could be wrong, but he got other, uh, 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 other um, investments to us here and there. You know, everybody said that uh, Floyd Mayweather was going broke at the same time. He, it's a possibility. You never know because he came from property. But at the same time, I don't know. They're like he said, he, I mean, he come back when he want to come back. That's when you got that serious money. It's just like Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. They've been out for a long time out of the entertainment business, and now they're coming back because maybe they might be bored. Maybe they need a little bit more money. When you be gone for a long time like that, man, that's when you got that real money, right? You know what I'm saying? But Kenneth Ivers is comfortable where he at. I don't, I don't think he's complaining about nothing about money is being the money is not right, but he's getting his money at the same time. And you know, one thing is, uh, you got people responding to what he's saying is pretty, pretty good considering the lock of promotion, which I believe I, the zone didn't promote this fight really well. It's kind of funny, they promoted, I think they promoted the KS, KSI uh, versus Logan Paul fight better than uh, I would say that uh, the uh, Canelo versus Kovalev fight. Nice to see they made 14,000 people wait. Well, it wasn't 14,000 people. He got that wrong. It was 10 it was 11,000 people was in that in that in that fight in, in that in that arena. 800 of average tickets sold again with the inflated announced attendance. Yup. But this person should be should not be surprised about that. The number the number they give on the fight night counts literally every person in the building. Where writers should classify in their stories. Some chose to run blind with their numbers. Yeah, that's true. Oscar De La Hoya promote uh, go to board promotions, but they're not the only ones that do does that. Bob Aaron does that. I, I would think Floyd Mayweather does that. Al Heyman, I don't I don't know too. Maybe he might do it too. He's a um, to me he's a advisor slash promoter too at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, promoters are liars. They, they, they you know what I'm saying? Eddie Hearns too at the same time. He's in that camp. He's definitely there. Uh, it says, um, and what one million on the zone at twenty thousand twenty dollars per forty-eight million fighting fighters per seems about not right. Forty-eight million in the fighter pay seems about right. Yep. My thoughts exactly how, my thoughts exactly how are the zone profiting from this? That's why I say it. I said the same thing. They're not profiting from it. Another proof Canelo's drawing power is not the same if if his opponent's name is not Triple G. Yeah, and you know one thing is even with that Triple G fight, it might not be that great because look at his last fight with uh, Devin Chico. They say he lost against Devin Chico. The next fight with Canelo Alvarez after Billy Joe Saunders, I think it's going to be Billy Joe Saunders and, De uh, De uh, and Triple G. That I don't think that fight's going to do that well. It, it, it's it, like they fought two times. It was controversial for both fights. The first fight was a draw, which I thought you know Triple G won that fight. And then the second one, Canelo Alvarez, what I thought Canelo Alvarez won that fight. You know, saying so I don't think it's going to do that well if it's going to be on the zone. Cause you gotta think about it, when they when they fought on the pay per view when it was on pay per view they did a million something then when it was the second fight did less than the the, the, the first fight you see what I'm saying and now it's been two years now and now they they, they think that it's gonna do I, I don't know it's gonna do a million I, I don't think so but I could be wrong but I really I really serious doubt it I'll put some money on that and and Trooper G is thirty about to be he's thirty six about to be thirty seven next year or this year next year or whatever. Sold less tickets than a 40-year-old 
40 year old floor versus Broto and may less at the gate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're saying that Floyd did better numbers than uh, with uh, with a dude who's not don't have no star power like that. The Haitian fight, the, the Haitian fighter, you know, Floyd. You know, and um, I, you know, when you when you want to get established, okay, the zoners might be okay. But when you when you went 24, 25 years old, depends on who, where you at in your life. When you in, in professional boxing, then you know, what I'm saying if you think you uh, a star or, or superstar, you could do pay pay per view numbers. Then yeah, then jump jump off that uh, platform and get uh get on a uh, platform with Fox or or Showtime, or whatever, and then make it happen. I won't go with uh, ESPN. I won't go with the uh, uh, top rank uh, uh, with them because Bob Aaron, he's a of course he's a liar, but at the same time, Al Hamid do pays his fighters. You know, say, and he didn't know how to market their fighters too. They may, may well know how to market their fighters too at the same time. Javante Davis getting marketed right. He got 1.8 million uh, 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 Instagram followers. He was uh, he was on a big screen at Baltimore uh, Stadium, the Baltimore uh, football stadium. He they, they they hit him on the big screen. Now he's fighting in Atlanta, which. Uh, fights don't really happen there, and he's getting and he's got a home there, and they gonna mark him right there too. That fight's gonna almost, I don't think it's gonna sell out now. I don't know about that, but it will do. It will do good. I I will say that. I could be wrong with that too, but we we'll definitely see because you know one thing is you know what they're doing since the fight haven't been since since boxing match haven't been haven't been in Atlanta in a while. They're gonna do it there because it's a it's a big pa black population there. And then, of course, Javante Davis is black. He's uh, black American, whatever, African American, whatever. And they're going to do it there. And Castle fans or, or fans know about Javante Davis, they're going to they're gonna go there. You gonna you might see uh, Gucci Man there, Young Jeezy there. You know what I'm saying? I, I guarantee you that. You're going to see, um, 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 who, 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 who is that? Um, T.I. there. You're going to see a lot of rappers there. I guarantee you that. In Atlanta, I trust they're going to come out. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They might don't care. They, don't, they might don't care who Javante Davis is fighting. You know what I'm saying? And that Yuka's getting boy is not. He's past this prime, but they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna turn out because they're gonna ain't no boxing match been uh has been uh, uh telecast there uh that much. You see what I'm saying? So that's why that's why uh, Mayweather know what he know what he doing. Al Hamid know what they doing. Even though they might lie, but they know what they doing is promoting promoting you right, and you need that. Debbie Haney. He could have went there, man, but he chose to go this route, which he, I think he should, I think he know what he doing. He, that's his career, and I mean, you know, uh, I hope he have a good career, and, and he's seen what Canelo Alvarez is doing, not doing that great, but he, he, he is getting up for money, but he's not getting that back end money. If you want to be in floor uh, shoes and get that real serious money, I'm telling you, you need to, you need to go with pay per view. Pay per view is not gonna go nowhere, I don't think. At first, I thought it was gonna go. So, I thought it was gonna uh, go somewhere. I thought some people was gonna buy this, buy this, uh, buy the zone like that. But they're not buying it like that. The zone is not a big powerhouse as, as them uh, marking you right. They lose the money. They can't market him that well because they lose the money with Canelo Alvarez uh, giving him that money. If I was if I was there handy man, I'd get twenty five. If when when his, when his contract is up with uh, Matchroom Boxing, I leave. You know what I'm saying? He do he got his own promotional company, Debbie Haney. But Canelo Alvarez, man, uh, hey, he's comfortable where he at. Oscar though is comfortable, he's getting his money. And uh, I don't think the zone uh is, is satisfied at the same time. And I don't think that Triple G fight is gonna do that well. I could be wrong, but it's been it's it's it's, it's been it's been it's, it's too long. It's just like that uh Floyd Mayweather versus uh, uh Manny Pacquiao, but that fight still did numbers because they was the two best fighters in the division and they was at the same age. You see what I'm saying? It was well it was well overdue. But that's the reason why that fight sold, because they were the best fighters in, in, in the division. You know what I'm saying? Number one, number two, you know what I'm saying? Hall of Famers, legends. You see what I'm saying? It's not nobody going up on weight and nothing like that and all that stuff. But that's just that's why that fight did sell. But it didn't it didn't was it a exciting fight? No, but that's just another story all in itself. But it, it it did numbers and that's basically what the zone is looking for. But Canelo Alvarez and the points that he picking that's on that's really uh the zone and Oscar De La Hoya fault to a certain degree. But Oscar De La Hoya is still getting his money off that thirty five million dollars. Which which I think what I'm talking about. You think I'm 
do you think I'm um I'm pushing it or do you think that do you think can the library of star powers is 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 is, is, is stable or do you just think it's is rising do you think it's down do you think it's gonna get better if he fight trooper G who you think his next opponent's gonna be I mean what y'all think Billy Joe Saunders trooper G do you think he's gonna go another route you know what I'm saying so what y'all think Leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. And matter of fact, another thing is, do you think, matter of fact, do you think he's the face of boxing? He's the cash cow, yes. Do you think he's still the face of boxing now? To me, eh, yeah, he, he might be. But in the zone, his star power is, is, is going down. It could be uh, Deontay Wilder the, or the, uh, could be the face of boxing now. Or Earl Spence. Cause Earl, Earl Spence had uh, um, Sean, uh, Sean Porter. And he really don't draw no crowd, but he did three hundred fifty thousand pay per view buys on, 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 you know, three hundred fifty thousand pay per view buys, and I think that really was sold out. You know what I'm saying? There could be Earl Spence and Deontay Wilder now, but Earl Spence is, you know, of course, it's, it actually, uh, he's on a he's on a sideline now, trying to rehabilitate and stuff like that, trying to get back right and get his man back right, but. But at the same time, man, leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the notification bell for new videos for me. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. Bye-bye.